Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So the other day I posted a video on Meta Llama 3 and how a DevOps engineer can use Meta Llama 3 to be more productive. And in the comment section of that video, many of you asked me to make a dedicated video on different AI tools that a DevOps engineer can use to save effort on their day-to-day -day activities. In this video, I will share six AI tools that can help DevOps engineers to be more productive with their day-to-day -day activities. I'll also share security implications with these AI tools. Also, the pricing model, which of them are free and which of them would cost you. So please watch this video till the end. So the first one and my favorite is GitHub Copilot. So GitHub Copilot is a AI pair programmer. That is, it can help you write code. And as a DevOps engineer, it can help you writing scripts. It can help you writing infrastructure as code and also any of your Python or Golang applications. It's very, very powerful. For example, if you have the GitHub Copilot installed on your Visual Studio, once you have the subscription of GitHub Copilot and once you install it. Now, let me show you if I have to write a shell script. EC2 underscore create dot sh. So if I have to create a shell script, let's say I'm not good with bash. I want to use GitHub Copilot. So I simply add a comment where I'll say create a bash script to create an EC2 instance using AWS CLI. So now I have instructed GitHub Copilot. It is carefully watching the file name. So the file name ends with .sh extension. That means it understood that I'm going to write a shell script and I've also provided some comments to it. Now it starts with creating a key pair because it's a prerequisite if you want to log into the created EC2 instance. So first it has generated, see I've not done anything. It has generated the key pair creation logic. Set the permissions for your key pair on your local. Perfect. Now it asked me to create a security group. All that I do is I just press a tab, add a rule for the security group, launch an EC2 instance, get the public IP of the created instance. Of course, by giving a better prompt, I can also variableize the parameters that are provided here. Many of the things are hard coded. I can use better prompt and explain GitHub Copilot how to variableize this as well. So you can add another comment to take inputs from the user or command line arguments. But if you want to understand more how GitHub Copilot can help a DevOps engineer, I've shown the example of scripting, but I have made a dedicated video where I've shown examples with respective infrastructure as code golang or python application as well as scripting so you can watch that video and understand personally github copilot is my favorite ai tool not just for devops but it also helps a lot in development you can see a demo golang application that i've written although i have good experience on golang i've written this simple demo golang application in just 10 minutes I haven't written a single line of code. So when you want to write this common repetitive task, very common activity as a DevOps engineer, you can trust GitHub Copilot. But when it comes to the advanced and the latest things, for example, if you want to use GitHub Copilot, probably for Argo CD or cross plane, then you might not see better responses because the data that GitHub Copilot has at this point of time is only till September 21st, 2021. 
there are plans for github copilot to use the latest version of the gpts at least for the last time i read and i believe it is going to get upgraded soon then we might not see such issues so the first one is github copilot and this is not free unfortunately if you are an open source contributor you have a good news for example i am a open source contributor so i get github copilot for free otherwise you have to spend 10 dollars a month and i would recommend that you can spend 10 dollars a month if you are a working employee and you will see a drastic difference or you can also ask your organization to buy you a license if that is possible second one is llama so meta llama is integrated with whatsapp web i think you can also use it in other platforms but what i would recommend is install llama on your machine or your cloud instance and then use it because you cannot put your organization details as per uh, any kind of prompts with your organization details it is exactly like chat gpt but this uses llama whereas chat gpt uses uh, i mean the latest version enterprise version of chat gpt uses gpt4 but it is equally powerful probably little less but it is very very useful because you don't have to worry a lot about security and privacy if you install llama on your local machine or your cloud instance i'm going to make a video on that how to install and set up llama using o llama on your cloud instance very soon third one is kubia so kubia is chat gpt for devops so the difference between chat gpt llama and kubia is that kubia is designed specially for devops instances so it says ai in devops so kubia is currently in the development phase and it is doing good i have made a dedicated video on kubia as well but it's an enterprise product the free version is also available you can use their sandbox environment but if you want to use it for a long term and if you want to recommend in your organization you can actually take a subscription of kubia and you can use kubia as part of your slack if you want to understand more again i made a dedicated video on kubia difference kubia can be used from your slack watch the complete video so that you get the information next one is snick many of you might know snick as a devsecops tool which can help you with your code snack scanning identifying the vulnerabilities but snick also has an ai they have very good ai integration and i would again highly recommend using snick if your organization is looking for a vulnerability scanning tool because not only scanning continuously but snick can also fix your issue especially if you are using open source code in your organization so snick is very powerful it can identify if your open source libraries have any vulnerabilities and it will also help you with fixing that open source library code or the code that you are using so you can take a look at snick ai to understand more details but this is for people who are looking for devsecops solution the next two tools that i have basically are more about documentation because as a devops engineer you are expected to write a lot of documentation for the scripts that you have written and also you are expected to create architecture diagrams trust me if you are bad at these things you will take days together documenting days together architecting the diagrams still you will not be able to complete the task so otter is basically a ai tool where you know you can 
just talk to otter and otter can listen to your meetings otter can actually uh, depending upon your meeting it can also generate more content on the things that you are talking for example whatever i am talking right now is recorded and i can take this back put that in the documentation and i can also format it and generate it better so you have ai chat outlining and everything i use otter a lot because when i have to write documentation for my youtube videos or when i have to write documentation on my hash node or medium blogs i can talk and i can take the content i can verify the grammar and upload it without writing a lot because writing takes a lot of time whereas when you speak and you can see the content you can co copy paste it and the final one that we have is eraser so if you are a subscriber of the channel you might have seen me using eraser a lot because it also comes for free to some extent at least for what we want to use you can use uh, eraser for free unless you are using it for your organization if you are using for your personal things definitely you can use eraser for free again the advantage is that let's say i want to write a document where i want to write a document uh, of how to create ec2 instance within a vpc setup i can simply say create ec2 instance in vpc and in the relevant technology i can say aws and just click on add now it will ask me for few things which is required for it to generate the complete documentation what is the purpose of using ec2 instance see the magic once i provide all the options let me say web server linux custom vpc with public and private subnet security groups s3 for backups cloudwatch and let's say aws code deploy now when i generate this you will notice that it has created the complete system architecture for you the component design security considerations a complete outline that is required for you now you can take this outline you can put that in chat gpt or llama or any other uh, you, know, you can use this as a prompt basically and you can get the complete content not only that with eraser you can also use uh, diagrams you can also get the diagrams not just the documentation for example if i want to draw ec2 instance connected to s3 bucket let's say i want to generate this it's a very simple one you can also generate quite complicated ones so here you got a reference ec2 instance connected to s3 bucket but eraser is free to some extent you can use that within the limit you can also create multiple accounts of eraser or if you want to take this to your organization you can buy license of eraser i would highly recommend at least trying out github copilot if that is possible for you if you can afford that subscription of github copilot then i would highly recommend that llama is again something that i would highly recommend but not on the whatsapp web if you are using for your organization if it is for your learning then it's okay but for your organizational activities install llama on your local or your cloud instance which i'm going to cover soon kubia it's an enterprise product so it depends on your organization if they want to take it but the advantage is kubia can be integrated with your slack and you can directly ask questions to kubia as if you are asking to your colleague again snick is an implementation choice otter i would recommend if you don't provide 
any information such as your password or the API keys, then you can get a lot of things from Otter instead of writing. You can just talk and get this information into your documentation. Finally, Eraser. Yes, I would recommend Eraser for your architecture diagram. If you want an alternative to Eraser, if you don't want to pay for it, then you can also go for draw.io. Even with draw.io, you can generate the architecture diagrams, but here it's not AI driven, but you have a lot of shapes. For example, if I search for EC2, I get an EC2 instance shape, which I have to use and I have to use this cursors and diagrams. So it is not that AI friendly as eraser, but still you can use it to draw your architecture diagrams. I hope you found this informative and let me know if I am not using some AI tools that you know and if they are powerful in the DevOps ecosystem. I would be more than happy to learn from you and suggest that to our subscribers in the future videos. See you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.